Hello, Pasco eSchool students, and I would like to personally welcome you to your Peer Counseling 1 and 2 if you are taking both segments course. I am going to be your instructor, Mrs. McDougall, and since we have a large uh, population of students that take this course, we do give you the option to watch this video and submit a form indicating that you have uh, watched the video and you are aware of the course expectations. That link will be provided at the end of the video. Um, so please stay tuned. We're going to cover all of the things you need to know to be successful in your peer counseling one or two course, depending on which course you are taking. So let's take a look at peer counseling one first. Um, this particular course is designed with ELL students in mind. Those are English language learners. Um, it is a very personal course. It's going to ask you to um, add some of your personal touches with some of the assignments that you're going to submit. Um, but its primary focus is on personal goals, your own personal growth, and overcoming obstacles that may come your way, whether it's in life in general or even school challenges that come your way. Um, we grade this course based off of your effort, so it's going to be very important that when you do submit your work that you do give your, um, your best effort, um, best foot forward always, thinking about um, being very detailed and thorough in your responses, using proper grammar and punctuation. Um, these will ensure that you uh, receive all of your points for your assignments. Uh, please make sure that you do save your discussion-based assessment, your DBA for last so that we have more to discuss. Um, this rule only applies to this course, not any of your other online courses like biology or algebra or hope. Um, it is just for this course, okay? So please keep that in mind. Peer Counseling 2, if you are um, enrolled in Peer Counseling 2, it's very similar in the fact that it is going to ask you um, for some of your own personal touches within the assignments that you submit. This particular course focuses on relationships. Again, we are going to be grading your assignments based on the effort you put forth. Please make sure you're very detailed, thorough in your responses, use proper grammar and punctuation, and please take the time and watch the amazing videos that are embedded in the course that Maui has created for you. There are some very inspirational words um, that he offers you um, to help you be successful as a student. Now, Peer Counseling 1 and Peer Counseling 2 are individual courses. So you have options here. You can take one of these courses or the other, or you can take both of them. For each of those courses, you will receive a half credit for successfully completing them. Um, and also keep in mind that completing only one of your peer counseling course, it will fulfill the online graduation requirement. Please keep in mind when you do submit your assignments, academic integrity is a must. That just simply means that um, when you submit your assignments, it has to be your work. So we do have programs in place that scan for any type of plagiarizing or borrowing of other students' work. So I always let my students know up front that it's there. It's not a secret. It's not a gotcha. It's just to make sure that you're doing the work. So please make sure when you submit your assignments that it is your work. Don't forget that you are given a grace period from the date that you are activated in your course. There are 28 days in which we expect for you to finish at least 20% of your course assignments. This is required in order to stay active in the course. If you do not make it to 20% by the end of your 28-day grace period, we do process a withdrawal. That's very important. Also, if you find that this course is not a good fit for you, you are um, able to drop this course with no penalty to you. So just real quick, here's a quick overview of Peer 1 and Peer 2 um, counseling. Peer 1 is all about setting goals, how to turn your failures into success, overcoming challenges, using your time wisely, making new friends, and taking pride in your culture and family, how to be more successful in school, and then also preparing for that after high school experience. Peer 2 is all about hitting that turbo button and building your confidence. Um, 
um, also about learning about teamwork and how to have those tough conversations when they come your way. Um, we also talked to you about having that supercharged teen brain and making good choices uh, within your teen experience and how to meet challenges head on. Please remember um, some of the rules for this particular course. You must be enrolled in peer counseling one or two for at least 14 days before I can issue your final grade. Um, this is the minimum seat requirement. So you do have to be enrolled from first assignment to last for at least 14 days. You must submit work and make progress every single week. You are going to be given a PACE chart, and it's also located on your course homepage to help you stay accountable. Um, and this will be monitored very closely. If you do get behind PACE, I always reach out to try to give you some encouraging words to keep you moving in the class. But it ultimately could result in a withdrawal if you do not stay on PACE. Also, you must complete the discussion-based assessment, no exceptions, that is required to issue the credit for the course. And also, monthly communication with your parents and guardians um, is a must. Please be sure that um, your phone numbers and email addresses that are within our database are up to date so that we can contact them. I do send out progress reports to the parent or guardian email on file. Um, and if your parent responds to that with a simple reply, I can count that as your monthly contact. In summary, just make sure that you do a good job. Show that you put forth, um, you know, your best thought and effort into your assignments. Always check your grade book daily for feedback and resubmit if you need more points. Um, submit work every week. Even if you're ahead of pace, you must make sure that you submit every week because if you don't, it puts you in an inactive status. And ask for help when you need it. Now you're at the point where you will submit um, our quick little form to indicate that you have watched the video in its entirety. Um, if you have any additional questions, you're more than welcome to reach out at any time. My number is located on the course announcement page, and you are welcome to call, text, email at any time you have questions. Thanks and have a great day.